All right, so this video is going to be for uh, my longtime friend Mike, and um, call him North Carolina Mike. So anyway, this is uh, me playing a game that I told him about called Mega Turrican. This is the game that I tell all my friends about because I think it's so freaking good. Uh, most of my friends don't want to hear me talking about Mega Turrican anymore because I talk about it so much. But anyways, this is a reproduction cartridge, so it's not a real thing. I had uh, this guy Ryan Patrick make it for me. Um, and... What it is, is basically a regular Genesis cartridge that has um, a reprogrammable ROM, ROM chip started onto the board. So basically, whatever game this was, they removed the old ROM chip and put on a new ROM chip, um, making it into Mega Turrican. So this game is, I think it's one megabyte, so it's kind of big for uh, a Genesis game. Um, but yeah, so regular... Genesis uh, cartridge or um, cartridge um, clamshell, just new uh, labels been printed out for it. This is the European label, so it's not actually the North American one, but I don't really give a crap. And the game, so the cartridge is in good shape. Nice shiny screws in the back. Board's in good shape. Nice new label. And the cool thing that I discovered about repro cards like this is that the um, codes will actually work in the Game Genie. So basically when I plug this in, when I plug this in and use it with the um, Game Genie, it will basically recognize it as being a regular cartridge. So any cheat codes that are present for Make a Turrican will actually work on its repro card because um, for all intents and purposes, it is pretty much the same thing. The Game Genie can't tell the difference and now they can of Genesis, so it'll just play like a regular game. So I'm going to plop this in there and uh, play some Mega Turrican. So this is uh, necessary for this game, so you need a six button controller. You can use it with a three button, but six buttons recommended for your... Um, you get three bombs. Not that it makes a difference, they all do the same thing, but these use your bombs um, down and I think fire or whatever will put you into like this rolling ball where you can drop mines or just roll around and uh, avoid things faster. Um, so you also get a, uh, a little um, kind of claw thing that shoots out kind of like um, Bionic Commando for the NES. Only I think for this one it's a little bit more useful. The uh, mechanics on it are, are definitely more polished. Um, and I'm using a uh, hyper Hyperkin um, controller which is uh, basically like an aftermarket six button controller it's pretty much the exact same mold as the real six button controller the only thing hyperkin has changed is the button membranes inside which are um, of cheaper quality but they I don't know for, I've had these for a while now going on uh, probably like four or five months and they seem to be fine so not bad they're like eight bucks brand new so um, so yeah let's uh, play some Mega Turrican all right, so this is the uh, Game Genie um, start screen here, or code screen, I should say. Um, trying to adjust my camera so it's like somewhat centered. But um, so the top code, it's good enough. So the top code gives you um, infinite lives, and the bottom code gives you no energy loss. So basically. I am like immune to pretty much everything and uh, I never really play games like this but it's just for this video so I can do it without fucking up so um, repro cartridge on a game genie and you'll see that it works just like any other game which is definitely uh, super cool um, oh, let me turn the volume up I'm just using the speakers off of the TV so you're not really gonna hear anything good or actually I could use my stereo fuck it I'll turn it on there you go so normal rapid fire on blah blah It's 
got a whole entry of thing it goes through, obviously giving like the story and whatnot, but let's just start the game. Intro is cool though, because it's like lights that are like flickering on. Yeah. We want the laser. See, I got hit and I got no energy loss. Pretty cool though. Definitely a game where you have to memorize the uh, the layout of all the um, where all the enemies are and stuff, especially all of the uh, where all the bad guys are and whatnot, and also the extra lives. So B shoots. C jumps and A is the uh, little thing of bobber here. Your little blue jumper, what's it? And the blue sphere you want to avoid because that one sucks so bad. Ah. And I got it. Shit, screw myself over. Just trying to get the homing missile. a game that you really need to like hear in person though because the sound on it's so good. And obviously from a visual standpoint it's really cool too. You do get timed on your stages too. So you gotta kinda move fast but very carefully at the same time. Some 
the ass. The extra life in it I'm trying to get. Alright. I don't think it matters at this point. First boss. This one's pretty easy actually. The second one is an octopus is a pain in the ass. So the only thing you have to do here is shoot out the eyes. sitting around here. Die. This one's a pain in the ass. So these little canisters here will become more and more scarce as the game progresses. And also the levels will get like longer too, so... that come out of the water here. Eh, the bubbles kill you. Eh, not what I wanted. Yeah, gotta watch out for those. They electrocute you so do these. So like right now I would totally be dead with this game. spread though. Everything here is like trying to kill you so bad. <laughs> so you have like this that destroys everything that's on the screen. Almost everything but there's just so much crap. And it's kind of neat though too because this game is like there's so much going on in like the graphics department. Uh, there's like zero lag with it, so like or, or slowdowns. So that's really kind of shows you how well this game was like programmed. Any 
these squid things that like they dart out at you like so fast. Totally beat that at this point. I would have died like five times. Yeah, that's not what I want. Come on, go away. Not that it matters at this point. Oh yeah. Keep picking up them power-ups. So here's the boss. It's like this huge octopus thing. The sounds coming out alright on this though, because usually I jack up the volume on this stuff. So, gotta keep shooting at the eyeball. Playing this game on easy, it would stop at this point and ask you to try it over again on hard or normal. So um, playing it easy really gives you like no like satisfaction because you're not getting anywhere. So this is the third level. And this is uh, not easy <laughs> at all. Some of these platforms just kind of drop you. I know kind of drop Ooh, right there. There we go. This one right here actually drops you. But there's so much going on with it though, it looks freaking awesome. And every level has like a different song, so. And there's like so many bosses here. Ah. See, so this is where you would use that. Although you can waste it. Severed like robotic fist. Now the boss. I still haven't figured out the patterns yet with this one. So I do more running than anything else. So you fight this guy like twice actually. I can't react fast enough for this guy. Yay, another life even though I have infinite lives. You get these little mind things that come out everywhere. Pain in the butt. Ah. I mean, it's like you're trying to climb this thing and you keep getting screwed over. Laser. Keep getting screwed over. See, this is boss now. This guy is actually not too bad. I kind of figured out his patterns. So 
always with the head with these games. Like the eyes or the head or something. Going up here again, and then these little bouncy things that suck. swinging ball things that suck. I was actually playing with without the game genie, I would be using so much more caution now. Alright. So that's it for that. I think there's one more boss. Let me get the laser for this one. This one right here, this guy. Ah. Red eye is what you want to hit. Ah, oh, crap. But, yeah. Shoots flames out at you and stuff. Another one. <laughs> Crazy. So that's why I'm kind of happy I got the repro instead of the real cartridge because I, I could, you know, just see myself getting frustrated with this game. level is a total like mind trip like look at the background that's like totally screwing with my head right now So those things like attach to your face and kill you. Oh, 
Alright, so we got past that part because, uh, yeah, that was. that was frustrating. There's a couple of places like that where it gets like, what the crap. get through this level is to find all the exit signs and, and not die ever. This is what happens with me. back in the day. Woo! That was time consuming. Stuff though, this game. Oh. Can't 
hesitate with this. Almost like the turbo tunnel in uh, Battle Toads. Not really, but difficulty factor is up there for me. jumping at the right time. going here. Good. painful. <laughs> More of this.
fucked up if they would do that. from its brain. Alright, so this just turns into alien. that I know are going to get me shot and I do it anyway. Cool that is though.
no idea if this does anything. There we go, we'll just shoot out the eye when I'm on top of it. That ought to kill it good. Die, you motherfucker. I'll just keep shooting its eyeball. That much. Damn it. I killed you. Not the right way how to kill it, but. Alright, so this is probably the one part where I'm gonna have to pause the oops, pause the video. Put the damn shield in there. I okay, got it. Because this takes forever to finish. So. Hold on. at this point. the game at this point and I'll continue when I get past this stage because it's time consuming. Alright, so I made it. And uh, here we go. And, uh, pretty much fighting like a T-800 with uh, like three hands. Four hands, actually. Good. 
looks like Zool. That's it. Yep, that's it. I guess I'll show you guys the ending. If you want to see it. Mike, I hope you liked that. That was uh, me playing through Mega Turrican. Um, skip some parts, but you get the idea. Intro too, if you're interested in seeing it. something after this, like a little cutscene or animation or something, I don't remember. If you want to contact Factor 5, you gotta write to Germany. I'll show you the intro. Hit the reset button on the console. Presented by Data East.
Alright, so that's it. Yada, yada, yada. I love that intro. Enough of that. Thanks for watching, guys.